Hello, my name is Jay Newland, and I have the distinct honor and privilege of serving as the president of the Conquer Players. Welcome, and thank you for joining us in our event today. As some of you may know, the Players can trace its roots back to 1857, when Louisa May Alcott and her sister Anna founded the Conquer Dramatic Union. The union became the Conquer Dramatic Club, which ultimately in 1919 became the Conquer Players. So we've celebrated not only 100 years of residence here at 51 Walden, but also our 100th anniversary. In honor of our patron saint, the Players has produced an adaptation of Little Women every 10 years since 1932, so I hope to see you here very soon. The Conquer Players is very proud of its continuous record of providing quality theater to the citizens of Concord and the surrounding areas. We produce three award-winning productions each season, and through our Concord Traveling Troupe, numerous performances at local nursing homes and assisted living facilities. Each summer, on the lawn of the Concord Public Library, our All the Worlds of Play stage players present the works of William Shakespeare, and we provide material support to the fully productionized and costume productions of Opera 51. Unfortunately, since March of 2020, like all other theaters, we've been dark and unable to provide live theater to the public. Unfortunately, our expenses are still high as we continue to maintain the facility here at 51 Walden, which was listed on the National Registry of Historic Buildings in 2007, and are actually facing a significant deficit in the tens of thousands of dollars, which is why I'm here, to ask for your financial support so we can continue the legacy that Louisa May Alcott started so many years ago and to continue to provide quality theater, which brings our community together in experiencing shared feelings of drama, tragedy, joy, laughter. As an integral part of the vibrant Concord Arts scene, our nonprofit status means your donation is tax deductible. Please go to our website, conquerplayers.org. Click on the donate button and see how you can help us. I appreciate any assistance you can provide and thank you for your contribution. We miss you all very much and can't wait to see you at the theater. Oh, I'm tired. You're always tired. I'm really tired, like exhausted. I'm really exhausted. Then why don't you take a cat nap? I can keep an eye on the prey while you doze. Ugh, prey. What do you mean, ugh, prey? I don't know. Come on, I'm Doc. just on the move for it. You know how much you enjoy the hunt. Oh, sure, I like the idea of hunting. I mean, I like running down beasts just as much as the next cat, but. But what? Never mind, it's nothing. You know how much I hate it when you do that, Don? What? You know what? Don't make me wrestle it out of you. Hey, that might be fun. Donald! Okay, okay. I was just thinking. Do we have to kill what we catch? What do you mean, do we have to kill what we catch? Are you suggesting we eat our food alive? No, of course not, Betsy. I'm just saying. Killing these helpless animals seems wrong somehow. I mean, they are helpless, aren't they? Well, yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? I just don't feel right slaughtering helpless innocent wildlife. I mean. Has a wildebeest ever personally offended you? No, not really, no. Do you see, then? See what? Why we should feel bad. It would be different if they committed the first offense before we gnawed into their haunches. But the truth is that they don't provoke us. Don't you feel guilty when you kill? Well, I suppose I feel a little guilty, but it doesn't matter what we think. We all have to eat. Well, we could find something else to eat. Like what? Something that doesn't howl in pain when you bite into it? Maybe bark, perhaps. <laughs> bark? Come on, forget I mentioned oh, We get sharp little splinters in our gums. <laughs> Seriously, Donald, aren't you hungry? Couldn't you go for a nice zebra shank about now, Don? I suppose I could. Don, honey, what's wrong with you? Do you love me, Bets? I mean, do you really love me? Do I really love you? Of course I do. I've loved you since the day we started mating when I noticed that silky smooth mane of yours, and I still do. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now, what no are you- No matter what, 
no matter what. Now, what is wrong? Nothing. Never mind. You know, it's getting kind of dark. Maybe we should call it a day and regroup with the pride. Don. Plus, I'm getting kind of cold. I think my fur has been thinning. Don. Hell, I'm not even that hungry. Don, I am your lioness and you are my mate. The least you can do is be open with me. I'm a vegetarian. Excuse me? I said I am a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me that you lost your status as alpha male or something. <laughs> That's what I love about you, Don. You have such a great sense of humor. Some Betsy, other lionesses aren't so lucky. Mary, for example, Betsy, her mate always has a thorn in his paw, and the others are just so serious. Betsy! I'm not making a joke. So you're saying you're a vegetarian? Yes. So you're saying you like to eat plants? Yep. So you're saying you would rather stuff some leaves in your mouth from a bush and swallow than gnaw on a tender new leg? I guess that's one way to put it. Are the beasts I'm hunting not good enough for you? Bets, the beasts are fine. Uh, then, then what do you want? Just tell me what you want, Don. Do you want an, an antelope, a giraffe? I can get you a giraffe. I mean, they're huge and the nearest herd is about a mile off, but I can try. I don't want any animal. Then what do you want, Don? Tell me what you want. Do you want to go prod off into the thicket? That's what you've been doing every night? You've been going out into the thicket to look for plants to eat? How did you know about the thicket? Who's been telling you? Is it that good for nothing? Work it, Simba, when I get my paws around his neck. Simba, seriously, Donald? Like, I haven't noticed the burrs on your mane when you lie down at dawn. I haven't noticed the thorns in between your claws. I've known about your midnight escapades for weeks now, but I never knew what you were doing. I never knew you were prodding off into the thicket. I never knew that you were a thicket vegetarian. Well, I've come out of the thicket, okay? The cat is no longer in the bed. Well, I can see that. Oh, now you're yelling at me. Well, how do you expect me to react? Well, you could at least try to understand how hard this is for me, too. I'm trying, but for God's sake, Don, we're at the top of the food chain. And so to learn that your mate is a vegetarian isn't exactly the easiest thing to cope with. Says the lioness who wanted her mate to be open with her so badly. I know. I'm sorry, okay? This isn't exactly the kind of truth-telling you encounter every day. I guess it isn't. Yet lying here and bickering about it like a pair of hyenas won't solve anything. Okay, so tell me the whole story. How long have you known? That I like plants? Yes. I don't know. A few weeks? Maybe a few months? Well, how did you find out? It was after a hunt. We were just gorging ourselves on a fresh gazelle carcass and, and it just didn't feel right. No, you know what? The chew of the meat, the blood running through my mouth, it felt plain wrong. I mean, I've always been drawn towards plants. Ever since I was a little cub. The dry crackle of the wheat grain, the smooth sheen of the baobab leaves, and the sweet, sweet water in its trunk. Always made my first stand on end. But I never knew I was this way, though, until then. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I never even considered it. I was just as surprised as you are, Betsy. Well, I guess this explains why you haven't been hungry recently and why you've been so tired in the morning and why you've just been sitting off in the shade while the pride eats. Oh, geez, Donald, what is the pride going to say when they find out their alpha male is a vegetarian? The pride? Wait, what? You're not going to tell the pride, are you? I'm not the only one who's been noticing your particular behavior, Donald. I've heard talk. They're starting to wonder why their leader hasn't been eating with the other lions. They're going to start asking questions. Well, then we have to make up answers. Well, they're going to find out somehow whether we tell them or not. What do we do? But I can't lose alpha male status. I just can't. I know. <sighs> Calm down. We will figure this out. How? Well, maybe there's a solution. What do you mean a solution? I, well, I was talking to Mary earlier. Oh, and... come on, Betsy. Mary? She's the ditziest lioness in the whole Sahel region. You know that. I know, but just hear me out. She was telling me that she was suffering from these anxiety attacks that was causing issues with her mate. So she went and saw Bonzo Baboon, the medicine monkey, across the plane. Uh, and Bonzo? You mean that lunatic, painted-faced gorilla? He's a wise mandrel baboon, Donald. That's irrelevant, though. The point is, he concocted this elixir for her to drink, and all of her anxiety attacks stopped. Just like that? Just like that. Maybe if we went and saw Bonzo, he could find a cure for your vegetarian cravings, and poop, problem solved. Okay, first of all, haven't you ever heard of the placebo effect? 
And secondly, you can't cure vegetarianism. It's just the way some lions are. And I can't help it if I'm one of those lions. Well, then, didn't you, then do you have any ideas then? Well, who says the pride has to find out? I mean, we can keep a secret, can't we? Yes, we can keep a secret. But how do we explain why you're not eating with the other lions? When the other lions are surrounding the kill? Maybe we can just smear some red berries on my face and pretend I'm feasting. They'll never know the difference. It's not like they'll notice while they're stealthy, but a wildebeest carcass. Do you really think that's going to work? We have to try, at least. Please, we can't let anyone discover my vegetarianism. Think about our cubs. What will they think if they find out that Daddy doesn't like Zebu? They need someone to look up to, Bets. And, and I won't even be a real lion to them anymore. <laughs> I mean, for peace's sake, all our species does is eat meat. And mate, and bathe, and sleep. OK, and... it doesn't matter what else we do. But for the well-being of the pride, that's for the sake of our cubs. All that matters is that no one can find out about this. You have to promise me that you won't tell it to any cat, not in this life, and not in any of your other nine. I'm begging you. I won't tell. Do you promise? Of course, Don. I still love you. Do you really? <laughs> yes, didn't I always say I'd be there to lick the hard to reach <laughs> spots? <laughs> you know, for a while there, I was worried. I thought you were sick. I, I mean, it's embarrassing to say now, but I thought you were seeing another lioness. <laughs> <laughs> another lioness? Let's be serious, Bats. You know that you're my one and only kitty cat. <laughs> so, how are we going to get your bayo bobblies without the rest of the pride knowing? We'll just have to be extra careful about it, I guess. Now, I think you should at least try a leaf to see what you're missing. Oh, no, no, you no. You won't even try one? No, absolutely not. Even a not. bite? Nope. Well, when we first started mating, you told me you were open-minded. It's disgusting! Hey, what's up? Not much. How about you? Nothing new. I think I'm done. You want to grab a beer? Coffee's cold anyway. No, for good. You're resigning? No growth here. I don't understand. You didn't say anything. This is a decision I have to make for myself. Yeah, but I'm I can't keep talking kids into doing this. You know how I feel. I got out as soon as I could. Ah. Don't worry, you'll get another great job in Boston. Star recruiter like you? I'm leaving Boston. There's nothing keeping me here. Except cold coffee. <laughs> Sorry. I know it's a surprise. We were together all weekend. You didn't say a word. It's been coming, but you're usually blinded by some blonde. Not fair. You're the only one I spend quality time with. <laughs> Probably true. If you're not drunk or in the sack, you're with me. You sure about this whole leaving thing? Don't try to talk me out I of it. I wish I could. I know how stubborn you are. <laughs> know your enemy. Never enemies, you and I. I'll always have your back. Before you do anything drastic, <laughs> I need your help. Sure. I have to say something. You're, you're good with words. I get by. You've signed up more recruits than Ugh, anybody. Don't remind me. I got to say it right. Personal or professional? Very personal. Do I know this person? I'd rather not say. Oh, a mystery person. Spill. No can do. Now, I will have to oh, know. Come on, Allie. No interrogation. Give me a break. Why would I do that? Be a pal. Yeah, that's me. Best pal ever. Ever and always. Yeah. What is so impossible to say? I love you. Excuse me? I'm trying to say I love you. To someone I may or may not know. Uh-huh. What's so hard? You keep saying it to one bimbo after another. This is different. Different how? They are not expecting it. Man or woman? 
Woman, of course. Not of course. This is a mystery person you have kept from your comrade in arms. Shame could be involved. I'm not ashamed. You kept your plans about leaving from me. I'll say one thing for you. You've got guts. Why do you say that, Lieutenant? Because you keep getting yourself into one unworkable relationship after another. Try, try, try again. Yeah. You don't even try at all. I accept my limitations. I can't be intimate with someone who has no idea where I've been. Get naked with all my scars. Badges of courage. You got some of those saving my ass. Let's well, not talk about that basement in Baghdad. Why can't you say I love you to this bimbo? She might laugh. Oh, that could be rough. Okay, so I have to lead into it, see how she feels first. This sounds really complicated. Are you sure she's worth it? No, oh, she is. But if you can't be honest with her, this is crazy. You are terrible at beating around the bush and sugarcoating things. You go straight for the jugular every time. Is that bad? No, not necessarily, but it takes a certain kind of person to appreciate frankness. Well, do you a appreciate frankness? <laughs> the service, you get used to it. Yeah, but do you like it? No, not all the time. What should I do? I don't have any idea what this girl would like. You could guess. I mean, you're a woman. <sighs> what, what would you like? Oh. Uh, well, if you were my boyfriend, I might like some compliments. I don't know. Like what? Um, nothing insincere or sappy. So fact-based, like you have a nice ass. Does she have a nice ass? The best. <laughs> okay, but you might say something like, you've got a great figure, it's less rude sounding. Okay, so we've got, hi, you've got a great figure, <sighs> then what? That still feels like the deep end of the pool. You gotta ease in. Um, what do you normally say when you see her? What's up? And she says? Not much, how about you? Sounds pretty indirect and non-committal to me. That's why I, I wanna change it up. I want to see how she feels before I drop the, the L word. Why does it matter? You'll change her out like an old battery in a few weeks, or she'll get tired of your nightmares. Not her. Unique. She's important. <sighs> okay. Okay, instead of saying not much, you could try saying something more meaningful. Like? I got a raise. Did you? Yeah. It's really cool. I'll be writing more interesting programs at work now, and I can even support a family now. Nice for her. So, um, is this a warm-up to a marriage proposal for Madam X? No, I, I haven't thought that far. I, I, I just want to be with her. So we've got... I, I got a raise, and you have a great figure. Then what? I think we need to go about this a different way. Um, okay, I'll be you, and you be this girl. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Not much. <laughs> How about you? I got a raise. Cool. I'll be writing more interesting programs, too. I don't know anything about computers, but if you're happy... I am. How's your job going? Oh, no. She hates her job. Wow, okay, well maybe not work stuff then. How about, uh, how was your weekend? We were together. When? Uh, booty call. Must be nice for guys. Okay, the weekend thing isn't gonna work. When, when do I tell her that she has a great ass? Women wanna be liked for more than just their bodies. What else do you like about her? She's really understanding and easy to talk to. So easy you can't trust her not to laugh when you tell her you love her? 
Maybe I should put the moves on her first. Do you think she'll start to get the idea that I like her in a different way? I, I think she might. How about this? I had no idea those lips could kiss like that. Do you think she'll like it? I think she'll love it. Do you? Me? What? Love it. I... You got a great figure. Wait. Are you just practicing on me? Because that is no, way no, below no, no, the no, belt. No, no, no. You, you said you were leaving. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. About me? Yes. I've been wanting to tell you for a while now that you really hot in a, a relationship was off limits before, and that, uh, you're the only one I can trust. You were there. You get the stuff that keeps blowing up inside my head. You're not afraid of the rage. What are you saying, Pete? I'm saying that we don't sleep or think or feel like other people. You're the only one. You get me and, and I get you. I love you, Allie. I have forever. Oh, God, I, I can't believe it. I'm just trying to wrap my head around all this. Oh, God, good or bad? Good, I guess. <laughs> you think I have a nice ass? The best. You really had me going, you son of a bitch. I thought you had some new blonde. I have suffered through all of your women when, when you I... You were jealous. Damn right. Why do you think I was leaving? I was sure one of these days I was going to lose the only person who keeps me sane to some bimbo. You are the only bimbo for me, Lieutenant. <laughs> So, you want to know how to say I love you? Yes, ma'am. Kiss me. Then that's an order. I don't want you here, but we need each other. I thought that after last night, you would understand. Shh. Do you even remember last night? Given how smashed you were, I'm surprised you remember anything at all. No, at, at least I remember telling you that I don't want you, and I certainly don't need you. That's where you're wrong. Oh? Well, you've never been good with this. Good with what? You know, feelings and stuff. Uh, would you be quiet? You should be shouting it from the rooftop. This is a matter of love. And that's just something you've never been too good at expressing. Wait, you think this is love? Of course it is. You can't hide your feelings from me, buddy. I feel them stronger than you do. OK, so then the next step would be to find out if Mary knows I exist. Well, I'll just go ask her. No, 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 no. Wait, damn it, no. You're my subconscious. You know, my subconscious is in, you know, below, below the radar. I'm not even supposed to notice you. Well, that should indicate just how seriously you should be taking me. It's not easy to be this direct. Usually it's just a hint here, a nudge there, stuff like a craving for coffee when you know she's in the break room. Do you know how much crap I had to go through for this? <laughs> there are protocols, red tape. Heck, I even had to make a special appeal before I could get in your face this much. You have to go talk to her. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know if I have it in me to, to ask her out yet. Listen. You've been working together for over a year. She must have noticed you drooling by now. Oh, well, aren't you a great big confidence booster? Hey, the way I see it, you have two options. You either ask her out, or you can spend the rest of your life fantasizing about her in your cubicle. Well, 
you know, some people say that fantasies are very healthy. All right, fine, fine, okay? All right, I'll do it, all right, let's go. Ron, what is it now? Your fly is down. <clears throat> all right. Wait, what's the hold up? What if she says no? Then she says no. If you don't ask, she certainly won't say yes. No, I, I don't know if I have it in me to ask her out today. <sighs> yes, you do. Trust me, if you didn't, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, but you're my subconscious. Like, don't I get, like, like veto rights or something? <laughs> <laughs> don't get smart with me, buddy. Ask her out, and I'll get out of your hair. Look, I, I got a lot of work to do today. I, I don't think I have the time. She's six feet away. I don't want to. March. I hate you. Hey, Mary. Hi, Ron. Do you need something? Um, I just wanted to ask you, um, did, did you get those expense reports in? Yeah, why? Was there something wrong with them? No, 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 they're perfect. <laughs> the best I've ever seen. Okay. Okay, bye. What the hell was that? I froze. <laughs> okay. Let me show you how it's done. No, no, wait, wait. Hey, Mary. Oh, did you forget something? Oh, yeah. I forgot something, all right. Listen, you and I have worked together for a long time. And I've been wanting to ask you. <laughs> wanting to ask me what? I've been meaning to ask you, who, who's in this picture? Oh, that's my son, Ryan. Oh, your son. <laughs> well, back to work. <laughs> what the hell is that? She has a son. He's kind of cute, isn't he? He sure is. Cute smile, cute face, cute ass. Wait, what are you doing here? easy to pop out of your head when you're daydreaming. Well, go back. I don't need any help. Oh, you sure do. It's been way too long since you've been on a real date. What's that supposed to mean? He likes you. No, he doesn't. He's a co-worker. A co-worker that wants to get in your pants. <gasps> oh, God, do you think so? Oh, God, don't sound so horrified. It's like you weren't just taking looks at him. Well, that's your fault, isn't it? You're the one putting all those thoughts in my mind. Yes, I am, and here's another. <sighs> Oh, 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 stop that! <laughs> Do you think I should say something to him? Oh, God, no. you got to let him come to you. But wouldn't he have said something by now? I mean, we've been working together over a year. Yeah, so he's shy, but he's good. Real good. And he likes you. Do you think... He acted sort of weird when I mentioned Ryan. So that's natural. If he really likes you, he won't have a problem with Ryan. What's the big deal? She has a son. So? So she's married. Not necessarily. Times are different now. Women are different. You know. Do I? If I do, then you do. Do you? No. <laughs> How do I find out if she's married? Duh. Was she wearing a ring? Oh, I, I didn't notice. Wait a minute. You're my subconscious. Aren't you supposed to notice things like that? Listen. There are two parts of Mary that I know very well, and her hands aren't them. Oh, God, he probably saw my ring. He must think I'm married or something. A guy doesn't care these days if a woman's married as long as she's hot. But I'm not. Hot? No. Married. Well, if you're so concerned about it, then take it off. Take off what? The ring, Mary. Take off oh. the ring. And when he comes over, smile a little, laugh at his jokes. You know how to flirt. Do I? If I do, then you do. Do you? <laughs> yes, I do. So what should I do? Well, I guess the first order of business is to find out if she's married. Okay, well, I could ask her. No, no, you can't do that. That would give it away. And it's weird. Now, you got to be subtle. Go back there and talk to her and look for a ring. Yeah, but, but what am I supposed to say? I, I, I was just over there. You know what? You should ask her out. Kill two birds no. with one stone. Nope, nope, I, I can't do that. Are you going to be like this with every woman you ever meet? I can't do it, okay? Fine. I will. 
Oh, no, 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 wait. Remember, laugh at his jokes. Hey, Mary. Back again, huh? For you, I'd stay here forever. <laughs> 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 Barry, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm the kind of guy who wants a lot of things in life. But right now, the only thing I want is... Is... what? The only thing I want is to... ask you more about your son. I mean, he seems like such a great kid. Uh, uh, he's got your eyes and everything. Oh, he's adopted. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, it sure is great of you taking on a, a son like that. Thank you, um, you know, raising a family. Oh, and... well, it was my husband's idea. Oh. Oh, but he's dead now. Oh. And then I was dating Jerry, and he helped raise Ryan for a while. Quick question. Are you single now? Yeah. Ah, so maybe it's time to add a new chapter to the book. What? <laughs> I'm writing a book. Really? A daring romance. <coughs> About two cats. A tale of animal desire. Uh, uh, for children. Such as we, children of love and passion. That is the title. Like the story of my life. Wait, uh, I'm confused. Uh, let me explain. Wait, wait, I... you're writing a book about passionate cats? Mary, well, let me handle I'm this. I'm so confused. Uh, so you're writing a book. I'd love to hear the climax. Well, it's... Well, uh, is it a feel-good story? It can be. Listen, Mary, when a man feels a certain way about a woman? Oh, like, like they're going to be best friends or something. But what if they want to be more than friends? Like bowling teammates or something. Yeah, exactly, something physical. But soon it turns into something more. Oh, I, 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 tennis partners. <laughs> and let me tell you, I have quite a forehand. Oh. I'd love to see your backhand. And then he asks her out to dinner. And then they play some slow music. They enjoy a nice glass or two of champagne. And then he asks her back to her place. They tell each other their deepest secrets. He spends the night. And they wake up at noon. And they do it all over again. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. Ouch, mama! Um, so you want to do that? Sure. <laughs> yeah.